As a lifelong Krispy Kreme fanatic, it's always been my dream to go behind the glass to see how they make their iconic glazed donuts. So far, the dough has been mixed and fed into their proprietary extruder, which unlike any other fast food donut machinery, molds dough into perfectly formed rings. Can you walk me through what's happening inside this part of the machine? After the donuts are dropped on the flights, there's over 300 flights in this box. It goes through a controlled environment where there's temperature and humidity. The donuts then proof. OK, some donut lingo. A flight is an individual steel grate on the carousel. They move via conveyor belt inside the proof box, kind of like a donut incubator, the place where the dough rises and starts to form a firmer shell. Brad, how does this proofer actually work? John, it's actually pretty simple. It's time and temperature. It proofs over 120 degrees and for over 30 minutes. This looks like the most fun ride I can go on in an amusement park. Do these ever flip over? Only at the end. What happens at the end? It's when they jump into the fryer. In the fryer, the donuts cook in a 350-degree oil bath for one minute before they're mechanically flipped. So it flips over and it continues down the path. Again, this is the greatest log flume ride in the world. And then it looks like the shortening kind of goes away and it dries off, am I right there? That's correct. It pulls it out of the shortening and it starts cooling down because they've got to cool and be at a certain temperature when the glaze hits in order for the glaze to adhere. So it cools off as it comes down and then we get to the piece de resistance. This, to me, is what Krispy Kreme is all about, this glazed waterfall. If I was you, I would make these life-size because I would buy one and bathe in it. Invented by Vernon Rudolph's engineers in the 1960s, the waterfall provides a steady deluge that evenly glazes each and every donut. And what happens to the excess of the glaze? As you can see, it is recirculated, goes down into the glaze tank, and then it's just pumped and recirculated back. And each time it goes through, no matter which crispy cream donut you pull up, it always has the right amount of glaze on. That's correct. After the glaze, what happens here at this clear part? Well, they're cooling to the optimum time till you get to the curve. At this point, this is when you want to grab them and enjoy. It's ready for the hot light. And today, Krispy Kreme is giving me the privilege of sounding the alarm. In spite of all their tech, the hot light is activated with a verbal cue. Turn on the hot light! <laughs> 